Hi, this is VE3HTB, Dave in Toronto, and we're doing another quick video. On to my uh, portable station. This winter I put together a nice little uh, device here, and you can see it in the loop, inside the loop here. That is a bit X40. I also made a uh, video on that. And uh, that's now operational. There's a few things I've got to finish off. Got to buy some knobs, but it is operational. I just have to figure out how I'm going to use the microphone. I think what uh, I'll do is use headphones and a, and a um, boom mic. Be best for uh, working outside. So here's what we have. We have my homemade uh, loop antenna here with the uh, tuning capacitor inside. And uh, I needed uh, the coax that I was using with it, so as you can see, it's not connected right now, but that's easily fixed. And uh, it did work quite well when I was using it last field day. So uh, basically, here are the components. We have a um, hula hoop, and uh, I put the coax in there because it keeps it nice and semi-round. And I'm just using ordinary uh, RG8X coax. I uh, will try and get my hands on some uh, better coax for this loop, maybe even copper tubing. And now that I'm retired, I don't have the income that I used to, so i got to do these things in stages. And uh, here's the tripod, which I will mount it on. And it's nice and light, easily transportable. The... Um, Bit X40 or is quite light. I guess it's under a pound, maybe pound on a bit, maybe, and um, runs off a portable battery, which is the hardest, the heaviest thing in my um, in my uh, portable kit. Anyways, I'll set that up in a minute and uh, we'll see how it works. So what I'm going to do is um, reassemble my uh, my antenna, my loop magnetic loop antenna, which basically means I just have to solder the feed line on here. As you can see, this is a very inexpensive. Uh, antenna basically just cut a hunk of coax off of some coax I already had. Uh, I think it was roughly nine meters, not nine meters, sorry, nine feet. And um, I put it in as, as much of a perfect loop as I can. Now, because of the um, weight of my tuning condenser and the fact that it's a little Long. I guess I could have made it a little shorter, maybe an 8 foot or something, but uh, it's not a perfectly round, but it's round enough. I suppose if I wanted to, I could uh, pull it up a little bit and put a cross member across, which would make it perfectly round. But for my purposes, teardrop's perfect. So basically I'm going to uh, solder the coax on the end here. And I'm going to uh, reattach the pole to the... Um, tripod. Okay, VE3HTB back. Uh, there's my loop. All hooked up. Ready to go, I hope. Now, you might have wondered in the previous video what that light bulb is doing there. Well, what that does is it shows me how well the antenna is tuned because this does produce high voltage enough voltage to fire up the uh, LED. So uh, that's a nice little tuning aid. As I adjust the tuning here, that light will get brighter or dimmer based on how close to resonance it is. So that's a little tip that you might use if you want to build one of these yourself. So let's get it on the air and see what kind of signals we can hear. I was listening uh, a little while ago to my uh, TS-50 and it didn't uh, 
it really didn't sound like there was much on, going on, uh, not, at least not with my dipole antennas, as you can see there. That was my first attempt at an apartment antenna, and it works pretty good. I've got a lot of stations with it. I've also worked stations with this, so. But the propagation cycle, as you know, is getting worse. Okay, I think everything is set to go. Yep. So let's hook her up and see how she works. There's N2. There's the antenna untuned. The band may be opening a little bit.
rotation of the antenna. Okay, so there's a quick demo of uh, my loop antenna and my bit 40x together. Bit x40, I should say, together. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to put these things together in a little better conditions outside, um, away from noise sources and such, and see what we can do. Uh, I still have a bit of work to do on my bit 40. The um, I still haven't figured out what I'm going to do for a mic. I do have a mic jack in there, but uh, I'm thinking of removing it and putting something in there that uh, I can hook up a you know, a standard mic to so I can push the key to uh, and push the talk button. So that's the uh, that's the portable setup. That's what I hope to work some stations with this uh, this year on field day. Uh, I understand the uh, bit X40 is uh, capable of doing about 10 watts. It's definitely a QRP rig, but it's quite exciting to know that I put this one together myself. I mean, I didn't wear the circuit board. Next time she comes around, I'll uh, detune it so you can see how much of a difference it really makes. Okay, Gulf 1, Japan Delta Kilo, the call is America 2, Tango Papa, copy. Just barely heard the uh, Gulf Papa station. Delta Kilo with the Alpha 2 Tango Papa. Very nice to meet you. I think the name is Cecilia. Do I have that correct? Yeah, it's Cecilia. Yeah, it's Cecilia. Roger says, copy 100%. Your report is 5 and 5. 5 by 5 to New York. Roger. comes back, what I'll do is turn the antenna and see if we can improve on his signal. QSL, QSL, I have a lot of QSD on my end. Yeah, well, that's pretty much what it's about. Well, we have you in the log and we are on QRZ. 
So Golf 1, Sierra Delta Kilo, we'll take 7-3 from Whiskey Alpha 2, Tango Papa.